Hi everybody, <clears throat> Dr. Alan Arnett here. Well, it's time for the natural antibiotic to be made again. And in this way, I decided to refresh a video and make it kind of interesting for you guys. So let's dive right in. So what you're looking in front of you is an in-process natural antibiotic that's being made. These uh, vegetables have been shredded up inside with apple cider vinegar stored. So here's what you'll need. The tools that you'll need to get going are a spoon for peeling the ginger and turmeric, a food processor for shredding just about everything here. That makes it easier rather than chopping. A washable surface for dealing with the turmeric because it's quite yellow and can stain anything. Let's be prepared. Ventilation when preparing horseradish and onions. Make sure you have good sharp knives. A funnel. You don't absolutely need it, but it really helps. And if you have a big one, a wide open mouth one, that helps even more. Go ahead and have your trash can ready by your side where you're cutting so that you don't have to use your yellow hands to then go look for the trash can. And we want to have a 1.5 quart jar with a sealable lid uh, like you're seeing here and you're going to need some gloves. We need some pretty strong sturdy gloves for dealing with this so the color doesn't get on you and so that the strongness of the uh, product doesn't get on you. <clears throat> okay so our recipe here you can pause and write this down or you can come back to this later but I'm going to go through each one of these items now uh, in a row. So the first one is a quart of apple cider vinegar. Cap apple cider vinegar is so incredibly antimicrobial inside our system as well as on our skin. It's safe for our body and it helps much of our digestive processes encourage uh, cleaning, breaking down, and utilization. And all of that then becomes the basis for this healthy drink. I've got a picture here of Bragg's. That's a brand. There are many different brands. Just try not to use the industrial apple cider vinegar you find in the gallons at the bottom of the cheap grocery stores. An onion, a white onion, everything should be organic. The uh, food processor will chop it up, so just peel away the outer layers. One to two drops of oil of oregano. You'll find this in your supplement section of your grocery store, or maybe you have a friend who does essential oils. But this is very medicinal. This is not one we typically breathe. This is one that we would use uh, to take orally. And here this is used at the very end of the product. When we go through dosing, we'll go over that. Two heads of garlic. Now that is a lot of garlic. Each head has between 8 and 15 cloves. And if you'll take all those cloves out, take all that paper off of two full heads, that will be enough for today's recipe. Two lemons, juiced and zested. I should have that in reverse. You should zest the lemon first to get off that very, very thin yellow part and then slice it in half and juice it up uh, to prepare for your beverage. Two to three hot peppers. Go ahead and take the seeds out. They're not necessary for what we're doing. And then slice the rest of it in a large, coarse way because you'll be putting it through the uh, food processor. Two to three tablespoons of manuka honey. Now manuka honey is honey that is made from bees that populate the manuka bush or trees in New Zealand. So it is an import. It has a very high ability to be antimicrobial. They're even putting it on band-aids now and using it in hospitals. But the price is quite high here. The sicker you are or the sicker the patient is that you're planning to give this to, the more you want to invest in getting a stronger manuka honey. Manuka honey is measured in MFUs, I'm sorry, UMS, Unique Manuka Factor, and that will be a number on the jar, plus 10, plus 20, 30, 40, plus 50 is the largest I've seen. That usually is in the neighborhood of 50 to $60 for the jar of Manuka. Uh, the cheap stuff will not even have a number on it. Uh, it'll just say Manuka Honey. Uh, that at the very least, you don't know what it is and probably not very medicinal. Manuka honey would not be used for just simple sweetening of things. It's a little too expensive for that. But if you're using this here for medicinal purposes, I recommend that you go in, go for the gusto, and get the good stuff. Three to four inches of horseradish peeled. Like uh, ginger and turmeric, you're just going to gently peel off the outer edges of this. It comes off very simple, and the whole thing can be put in your food processor before shredding. Turmeric, you can see the inside is that yellow-orange color, and that definitely with water will stain even the cutting board. Uh, but you can take it dry and use a little spoon and peel off that outer coarse edge, just like you can for the ginger. That kind of yellowy, translucent gray skin comes off with barely a whisper or stroke of this spoon coming across it. All right, so as you've removed all the skins from everything, then you grate everything in a food processor. Now the lemon uh, and the honey and the apple cider vinegar are the only thing that won't go through the food processor. 
Once everything's gone through the food processor, take a big bowl and mix everything together. And that's where you then zest and juice the lemons and put them in the bowl and put ev mix ev everything together very well. Now I transfer this what will be slightly goopy shredded product into the large wide mouth jar using a funnel. And once everything is transferred, open up your bottle of apple cider vinegar, shake it really well to get the mother from the bottom all mixed up, and then douse this stuff. Just, just completely cover it up. Once it's transmitted the apple cider vinegar into the jar, you will have every ingredient in here now except the uh, oil of oregano. Go ahead and seal up your jar, give it a good shake for about 30 seconds, and let that sit in your pantry now for two weeks, shaking it once a day. And so we let the two weeks pass, giving it a shake each day. But when it's time, it's almost like a Christmas moment because it's exciting to pull it out and say, now it's finally ready to go. You open it up and it's going to look a lot like this. It's going to have that yellow-orange color. There'll be all those little pieces still floating around in it. And hopefully you've mixed it up each day in the last two weeks. All right, so what you need for straining the medicine is a colander that fits into a bowl for catching the medicine because you're trying to separate now the solids from the liquids. You'll need old towels, I think this helps, and a quart jar with a plastic sealable lid. Here we don't want to use metal as that could corrode with the acids of the product over time. And strong gloves that go up your forearms. I use these red gloves here as you see in the windowsill. I've got my uh, silver or stainless steel colander and a wide mouth funnel there and the window open so there's some nice ventilation as I, as I process this. All right, so when we're open and ready to strain, just be aware there will be some sm strong smell. It's actually pleasant, it's not unpleasant, but it is absolutely concentrated. All right, so what we have here in the sink is a bowl that you cannot see that it, the colander is set inside and then the towel placed across that. I then dump the product into this contraption, <laughs> so to speak, and you can see that the liquid almost immediately separates from the dry are from the solid pieces. Now to squeeze it you want to gra gather the little edges of the towel and give it a really strong squeeze. This is one of the many reasons you have gloves on and go ahead and squeeze it until you just can't get any more drop. You want the juice and the solid particles have given up or the solid products have given up their stuff so they ultimately will become trash or maybe compost. And you pour it into two jars with a plastic resealable lid and there you go. It does look like orange juice, so if you have other people in the family, you might want to mark it, not orange juice or natural antibiotic. Uh, it's best kept out. It does not need to be refrigerated. So when you strain it and store it in these bell jars, it will keep for months just like this. This is a very safe way. If, however, you are transporting it uh, where the liquid will frequently get up on the lid, you can seal the metal bell jar lids for transferring it because that will be more waterproof. But when you're just storing it in your house, and once it's like this, you don't need to shake it up, store it with the plastic lids because they won't corrode and it will be better. Keep it away from the sun and heat and light. A cool, dark pantry is excellent. Now for the dosing of this. As you see here, we got little shot glasses, and that's about the way we're going to take it. So I recommend for general wellness that we do a tablespoon of water with a tablespoon of the natural antibiotic mix. One to two drops of oil of oregano. Now, oil of oregano is strong tasting and feeling, so start with one until you're familiar with how your body responds to it. If, however, you are trying to use this for uh, stronger purposes like internal yeast infections or gastrointestinal disturbance or upper respiratory tract infections, sinus infections, ear infections, these are the types of things that we would use it for in the clinic, then you would want to take more than simply one shot per day. You will need to build up to this much per day, uh, to body tolerance, but the body tolerates all of these ingredients very well. They're just strong, especially at first. Now, this uh, will cause you a reaction, and that's the point. Some of you will have no reaction. Some of you will feel a mild sweat. Some of you might have a nauseous response that lasts just a few minutes and then passes. Others of you, about an hour later, may have this release of your bowels if you're really bound up or if this really had a lot of binding in the liver, gallbladder, stomach area. So until you're familiar with how you respond to it, go ahead and stay at home the first day that you take it. You, these detox reactions typically level off with one to two days time. 
So if you have any further questions beyond what this has offered, please feel free to give us a call here at Parkview Health and Wellness Center. Again, I'm Dr. Alan Arnett. I am the uh, clinic director here and have created this recipe for you. I use these with my patients and I give this uh, to the world for free to let people know how to specifically bring this to life. Would love to hear from you if you have questions beyond what this video could provide. Thank you.